This program contains material of a disturbing nature. Viewer discretion is advised. For the past week, Bryce Bonnet has been suffering from a mysterious condition with flu-like symptoms. Now, the Center for Disease Control has identified the culprit. He confirmed that I had Zika. Zika is a mosquito-borne virus that can also be sexually transmitted. Inside Bryce's body, the virus is racing through his bloodstream, causing his fever, joint pain, eye pain, and rash. Zika is not usually considered serious in adults, but it can pose a deadly threat to unborn children. In 2015, an outbreak in Brazil triggered a global pandemic. Zika is a terrifying virus for several reasons. For one, it's incredibly hard to detect. Researchers estimate that only 20% of sufferers show any symptoms, and even when they do, those are often misdiagnosed as the flu. The virus is also endemic to some of the world's most populous regions, helping it to spread quickly. But perhaps the most frightening thing about Zika is the devastating consequences it can have for pregnant women. Dr. James Nodler is an expert in reproductive medicine. Zika is a um, terrible virus for people who are trying to become pregnant. It's associated with a higher rate of miscarriage, but definitely the worst case scenario for uh, women that contract Zika virus is having an affected child. It can cause microcephaly, which is a small head in the infant, uh, which can lead to uh, problems with seizures, uh, severe mental retardation, and even death in infants. Following the 2015 outbreak, the CDC issued travel warnings for much of the Caribbean, South America, and even parts of Asia. The biggest misconception, I think, around Zika virus is that it's no longer a problem, which is a mistake, uh, because Zika virus is very much alive. I was shocked that I had Zika. No one in my home state I've ever heard of having it. We were terrified. We really didn't know what we were up against. Our understanding of Zika is still evolving, but at the moment, it's thought that the highest risk for spreading the disease comes in the first two weeks after symptoms begin. But research has shown that the virus can survive in the male reproductive tract for up to six months. So that means that if a man is exposed, a couple should wait at least six months before trying to conceive. There is no uh, treatment or cure for Zika virus, uh, which is also really scary. That's something that we're currently working on. Slowly, Bryce and Nikki realize the awful reality of their situation. Our plan was as soon as we get home from our honeymoon, we wanted to start a family. Zika uh, really shattered that for us. 